Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. I am at a hoard in Brooksville right now, and we've got a deep clean that we also got to try to get done today. So why don't we go check it out? Careful, because I don't know what's up underneath it. They're everywhere. Get out of there! Damn it! Everything spiders, I cannot do spiders. Really? I can handle snakes, I can handle roaches, but spiders. Uh -uh. Snake, roaches, rats, but spiders, no? Yeah. Let's see. That's some sardines. This, all the rest of this stuff can go. Yeah, how does how does like pottery work like this? Like like uh, this has all the webs over. How do you would you just wash it or just kind of leave it like wash that? Wash it. Okay. Because I mean we gotta do deep clean anyway, so might as well clean all this for them. Try to help them keep something. That way they're not spending way more money than they need to. That's, huh. So I'm guessing this is trash, the futon. If there's a red on it, it can't be used. And all the you know who's and you know what's coming out of it. This is like a thing right there, look at that. Holy crap, they're everywhere. You see that? Yeah. So what do you guys do about the roaches? When man? we are done with um, the hoard cleaning and the deep clean, we're going to leave an ozone machine here for 24 hours, which will literally kill anything in here. Okay. So obviously we're going to have a sign on the door so no one comes in here because you come in here, you're done. You guys have to do another another clean if someone comes in oh here. Oh God. <laughs> 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 you know what? There you go. Shit. Oh, I don't know. Please tell me that's dead. Here, where's your shovel? Oh, right. it's not dead. It's a big ass spider. <laughs> there you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Isn't this just lovely? Want to just throw the whole thing on the back? So I'm assuming everything on the ground is pretty much packed? Yes, sir. All the, everything in here except for, like I say, the electronics. Throw everything else out. I'll go through the dressers, get all the stuff out of the dressers, trash that, and then the dressers themselves we will save. And then tomorrow when we come back, we'll figure out if they want us to keep them or not. Assuming a younger kid was in here. I mean, crib and then probably an older teenager or something. Probably just picking board. Let's take this out. Yeah, the fact that they've got it tied together means it doesn't even stay mm -hmm. together. So. Was it this bag that had many in or? There it is. <laughs> Honestly, that would be uh, very creepy if you were like cleaning this place out at night and you're taking out the trash and you just heard that. That's like those, uh, what are they, the Furbies? Yeah. Oh my god, like we had one when I was younger, me and my sister, we had one. We did not have batteries in them and we would put them in the closet. Never, and every now and then we would fucking hear them. I'm like, no! <laughs> Yes, sir. 
Yeah, it's like that. I guarantee you that everything up under here is probably just as high. That's probably what I've been in the movie. Adventures. Still got another day of work here to do to come back and finish up and get all this stuff done and complete um, we're just waiting on the word from the super to see what we're gonna do are we gonna take it and drop it off and come back or are we just gonna leave it and come back tomorrow and do it we're pretty much done for today though yeah pretty much oh man Yeah. We actually were called in by a relative of the tenant that was living here. Um, looks like one of the tenants passed away, but there was an obvious hoarding situation. Just so that there wasn't any uh, legal battle, I guess, they wanted to make sure there was a complete clean out of the hoard so the tenant can do there. Um, we actually have some water damage and some mold here, uh, but we weren't tasked with doing that. We're just doing a, a complete clean out. Um, you are here pretty much halfway through the the clean out, but to see kind of the level 
and we're dealing with, I want to show you this. Come on over here. So this is already 80% cleaned out from where it was. <laughs> you want to tell us what we got going on right now in here? Uh, we just cleaned it up in here inside of the master bedroom. Obviously, you can see the, the mold and all the, the good stuff on the floor. It's a little on the sad side about what happened, but I mean, we're here to get the job done, and that's what we're basically going to do today. Get everything tossed and thrown, get it all cleaned up. Oh, boy. I don't even want to think about what's under this. Oh, one. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Capturing it all. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it your way. So then, when I, I'm gonna flip the bed your way, then I get a grip of it and I just slide it straight on up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this shit here is gonna. <laughs> I melted three when I stepped on so. Wild. Yeah, see when we move those two tables, though, it's gonna be a pain in the you know what. <laughs> oh, I don't doubt it for a second. <laughs> That's how they do it nowadays. See what it says? Whoop we'll ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they do it nowadays. Where? What it's under the deodorant on top. Right there. Seeing. That's not as big as the other one. I got you. But, yeah. I'm looking for a big one. <laughs> it's like, oh. That first one, see, it was like that big. Yeah, yeah. No, that big is. How big was this one? I like that big. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> we tried to smash it once and then die. It's like, had a, had a, a, a live all attitude. It's like, why are you going down without a fight? That big ass. When roaches are nesting and stuff, and what they what they're doing, this is all fecal matter, and they're shedding their skin and stuff. And what you'll see here is while they're like nesting right here, is they're eating their their dead carcasses of the of the other roaches. The one thing about roaches that they you might have heard is don't use your va your household vacuum to vacuum up stuff like this and the reason why is it's hard to get them out of the filter so you'll get this little little sediment from the roaches into your filter and all you're doing is is signaling other roaches to come to come to your vacuum yeah the smell is hard on that one right there i can smell that Garbage bag. I'm just bagged up. Get it up out of here. That's old. Wow, yeah. This is like from when I was in middle school type shit. Wow. 3090. Mario, is this something that you've um, experienced before? Is this one of your first journeys? Like, no, I mean, I've done hoarding jobs before. Okay. Uh, like, how do you see them on TV where they have boxes and crates stacked to the ceiling and yeah, stuff yeah. like that? So it's nothing different. It's just you got to get accustomed and used to all of the bugs and the, the, the filth and the, the feces and all that stuff that's just lingering inside of the house. Gotcha. Uh, the only thing that really bothers you is the smell. 
But if you can get over the smell, the job's just it's straightforward. Gotcha. That's crazy, right? Yeah, absolutely. It literally feels like a movie right now. Because my eyes are going everywhere. I'm waiting for something to pop out. Oh, man. Wow. Day two out here in Brooksville for a hoarding job. I'm gonna, if you follow me, I'll show you kind of what we've done so far. So this room was kind of their living room slash living space because in the master bedroom over here, there was a pipe burst that caused black mold. So they actually had the, uh, a couch and a futon sitting out here where they're using this as their master bedroom. As you see, cleared off everything from the floor. Um, we still gotta do a deep clean, but there is no more um, stuff in here. You'll see some some shots of how many roaches and, and stuff that there were in the, the cabinets. We um, did a, a quick pull of all the, the dishes and the garbage that was inside of it and then we did a quick shop back. We still have to come through and do a wipe down of everything and that will be the, uh, on the next the next day. But cleaned all that out. We have our refrigerator that was completely emptied. We had months and months old, probably even years old food that was in here rotting and decaying. So did that come in here. When we first walked into the, the garage, you couldn't even stand where I'm at. You couldn't, you couldn't even make it to the, the garage door. We had to climb over some stuff to get to the garage door to open it up and completely empty this out. Um, we got some appliances that are still in here. We're not sure if they're in good working condition. We're gonna wait to talk to the, the client to see if they want us to clean them or trash them. Um, we do have, if they do want them to clean them, we have a, uh, a chemical that we make sure that we clean and sanitize these so they're, they're good to use. Same thing with the, the refrigerators. Water, mold, heat, dust, hoarding, all make for a great atmosphere for roaches, giant spiders, just the worst of the worst insects they can deal with. If you look right here, this is a main impact of the water damage. This and the closet over here. So if you look at the closet, you see that's all black mold that's sitting in there. You get real nasty and everything. The wall there to the left is very soft. You can, act, if you, you can actually touch it with your finger and push through it. We didn't do that because we were kind of um, weary of other animals uh, or other things coming through the wall. Um, if you look at the toilet seat in the back behind the toilet seat and underneath right there, bunch of uh, black mold and other things that uh, just growing and nasty. So 
We got a lot to do to do the deep clean. Um, I'm also gonna talk to the homeowner to see if we can get into doing some mold remediation here if, he, if he's looking to kind of fix the home up so we can rent this out again. Because the homeowner is actually a renter. The tenant, one of the tenants passed away and we were taking care of the hoard for the, uh, the tenant's family. All right, so today we are basically just gonna be going in the house cleaning down any surface that we can get to, floors, doors. We're gonna clean out the bathrooms, try to get the toilets as clean as we can. I mean, we just had the actual homeowner come by. I guess he was renting it out and he was never told about any of this. And yeah. I'm just gonna get all this nastiness cleaned up real fast though. You making people happy is my job. So there's nothing wrong with that. I like that, that's good, I love that. <laughs> We're here in Brooksville at the hoarding job getting the final deep clean done. There's a little bit more extra that we have to do to get the deep clean done. There's a mold remediation that needs to go on inside of the house. So everything else that we're doing is deep cleaning on the opposite side of the house. We're gonna get a uh, hygienist, get some a post test, a pre test done to make sure the uh, mold growth didn't spread all the way across the house. They gotta get the pipes fixed, get the plumbing fixed. They would come in and do a remediation, get all the work done. But as of, as of right now, we'll be done for the day. Signing off to you until next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.